here today at Drumsmodden in uh, East Ayrshire looking at rush control with Sam Robinson. Uh, Sam's done a lot of work here, uh, reseeding a bit of a, a challenging field and also has agreed to host our farm advisory service uh, trial plots to have a look at various options uh, on farm. We're in Drumsmodden Farm just outside Oakle Tree. Um, 300 acre dairy farm, milking 160 cows, uh, grass based cows outside and we're here 12 years maybe possibly today yesterday we've been we're on the farm 12 years and we've improved all our areas we've been hit by a bad milk price a couple of times this is we're currently standing on an 18 acre field here that has been bad with rushes and we've never been able to, to try and improve it and now we're in a stage we can and we have started so this field is it's an, an 18 acre block and can you describe it to us so it's a it's obviously quite an interesting field what what happens in here what this field production of this field since we have came here has been very poor You've, we run a few dry cattle on in the summer um, most of the year it has been that wet you can't you can't travel on it we have stuck in here before now and had major difficulties getting ourselves back out again and we last year we bought a wee digger last year and me and my son have started now just to, to, re, to, to redo the drains. Managed to get grass seed into five acres of glyphosate, lime and dung, that's all we've done, and seed. And we didn't even plow it, we simply dust it, power harrowed it, and broadcast the grass seed. The reason being, some of the tiles are that shallow at the top end of the field. We, where we started the bottom, we were dropping the drains down probably three to four feet. And as we go up the field, some of them are very, very shallow. They're probably less than six inches, some of them, from the top of the ground. So we don't want to plow it. To disturb it but all we're trying to do is we want to get the rushes of this field turn it into a grazing block that we can get production and get cows to it we're not we're not worrying about taking silage off it we're not worrying about it being super smooth super super finish a great finish we just need to make it productive dry and productive when you worked this field were you pleasantly surprised with what you saw yes land wise ah uh, yeah we were um soil type at the top end looked really good um there's obviously black peat in parts of it, there's some of the hollows will have black peat, um, harder to drain. We we stoned the black ground whenever we were draining it. The rest of it we didn't. Um, considering that, well, up at the pylon there, you can't see it from here, but up at the pylon, there was, the, you could never have stood in the front, stood in that any time of the year with, with water. And there's areas over here that you would have stuck in any time. And we've, we've made a big, big difference. What's the plan to make sure? So this is always going to be a a challenging yeah, field it's the yeah. most challenging field on the farm what's the plan to make sure that this doesn't revert back to a population of rushes through time well hopefully hopefully the drainage will have sorted out a percentage of the problem and apart from that i'm hoping that the glyphosate will have killed the rush and because we haven't disturbed it too much we mightn't have brought up too many old rush seeds and it's probably just going to be a battle going forward to They'll always, maybe, maybe it'll be a back sprayer. Maybe it'll be just stay on top of them with that. Maybe just try and keep on top of them and keep them down when they're small. And now through the Farm Advisory Service, we're really grateful to, for you to host us here and, and we'll hopefully not annoy you too much, but we've got a few proposals for what we're going to do with the rest of this field to, um, to try and, and, and look at what the different options for rust control are. Yeah. Um, so what you've done here is you've sprayed off, the, re the remaining area has been sprayed off with uh, MCPA yes, was it? Yes. Yeah. So it's all sprayed off. We're start where we're standing just now isn't topped. The remainder, the remainder of the field has been topped post spray, which is, is certainly one option. Uh, and then what we're going to do is have a look at uh, an additional treatment onto these areas. So we're going to look at applying slurry, applying dung, um, leaving a bit just as it is, as it's topped, and then also looking at the impact of putting lime onto these these areas as well, because um, we know that 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 secondary treatment that uh, bringing the pH up is the best for grass growth and competition is the best way to kill rushes. Killing rushes is one of those jobs we can put a man on the moon but killing rushes is a much more challenging job it seems however the fundamentals to it are dealing with underlying drainage issues is, is point number one. Point number two is to address soil fertility issues so let's get soil as, as healthy and as fertile as we can get. It's a deal with pH and deal with P and K issues. And the, the third, the jewel in the crown, is to then reseed and uh, sow with very competitive 
young grass as competition is the thing that will will ultimately kill the rashes out the system. A rush seed can live in the soil for up to, for at least 60 years. So we've got a constant battle that what we're actually trying to do here is get rid of this population of rushes that we have and then make sure that we set up the next grass sward to be in as good and as healthy a position that it doesn't allow the remaining rushes to come back in. No, we'll be back here in a few months' time later in the summer to see if we see what uh, what we've done and what the impact of that's been yeah. as well. So it'll be interesting to see how far we can move it in a year.